Hello, people of God. It's Pastor Stephen at St. Paul's United Church of Christ in Amityville with a vlog for Maundy Thursday, March 28. And this is vlog number 324. I'm in the social hall, and sometimes you see it set up for meals. Sometimes you see it set up for the white elephant sale. But right now it's set up for the Maundy Thursday service that will be held in this room on Thursday night at seven o'clock. And uh, it will be darker in here. We'll have candles on all the tables. And it's a very solemn service where we remember Jesus's last night before he was betrayed. And in fact, we also remember his crucifixion, which was on what we call Good Friday. And I wanna invite you to come to this. And if there's someone that seems right to invite to this that might be on the fence, please invite them. In fact, this is a wonderful season when people are, that have a background in the church, that have for some reason not been a part of it for a while. It's a time when they start remembering and thinking about it and they're more open to being invited. And it's also a time when people that have never known much about the, the church and our faith and about Jesus when they're more open. So I encourage you to find opportunities to share your faith, share the, the activities of our community of faith with your friends, especially uh, the egg hunt, great time to invite families that might not come to church on Sunday, but they might come when they know that there could be goodies and a lot of fun for the kids, that's on Saturday. And uh, there is a crosswalk I'll be taking part in and helping to lead on Friday, uh, starting from St. Mark's Lutheran Church in Birdsboro. It will, in fact, start at Boyer's Market there. And that's at 3 o'clock. And then at 7 o'clock, I'll be helping uh, Father Andrew in leadership of the Good Friday service at St. Gabe's Episcopal Church in Douglasville. So I invite you to think about coming to those services or those events. And um, and then, of course, Easter Sunday, invite friends. And you know that the turkey supper is coming up. Invite people that might want to help for a few hours one of the days on that week leading up to it on April 6th. Invite people who might want to come and help serve that night. Invite people who might want to just come and eat and have a, a good meal and hear some music in the sanctuary and, and come down here to the social hall, which will be definitely will be set up for the white elephant sale. So. I'm encouraging you to invite your friends and family and neighbors and co-workers to be a part of it. We have great things going on at our church. It's, it's a good time to invite people to come. And uh, something very sad happening, uh, if you're seeing this Thursday morning, uh, we have a, a celebration of life for 91-year-old Charlie Miller, who just passed away a week ago, and uh, a wonderful man who taught Sunday school for over 60 years and who uh, was a lay preacher who'd fill in for me about once a year and uh, who was always appreciated at Vacation Bible School when he'd be in costume and he'd tell the stories uh, so that even kids that didn't know anything else about the church or about him knew him as the storyteller. What a great man. And so we'll be saying goodbye to him and uh, entrusting him back to God and uh, we need to pray for his family. So would you join me in prayer? Oh Lord God, we give you thanks for Charlie's life and we pray now for Janet, his now widow, and we pray for their daughters um, in, in this time of pain for, for Denise and Karen and Kimberly. We pray for your comfort for them, for all who are grieving and, and uh, losing Charlie. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, I didn't mention also he sang tenor in the choir for a long, long time. Um, we'll miss him. Our scripture for the day is one that will be used at the Maundy Thursday service from, no, it's actually, I'm going to use it on the beginning of the Easter service, but it relates to Maundy Thursday and it comes from Acts. So it's really from a sermon that was delivered by Peter where he was telling people about Jesus. He said, they killed him by hanging him on a cross, but God raised him from the dead on the third day. That's from Acts 10, 39 and 40. 
and let me share a song that's appropriate for today. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died, my richest gain I count but lost and pour contempt on all my pride. Monday Thursday, blessings to you.